Welcome to the week four results. This is now my third time recording this video. I have been, it's been going crazy. There's a wire in the back of my mouth and it came undone. It's been in my mouth for years and it hasn't ever come undone and then just came undone right now. So you're gonna have a TJ with a weird wire in his mouth kind of talk video. But again, uh, I recorded this video a few times. Uh, footage got deleted. Uh, okay, let's talk about this week. Uh, basically we got 113 points. And it came 200, 2,407 out of 5,362. That is not our name. We did not get first place or second place or third place. We didn't get any place. We got 113 points. Let's talk about it. First thing I want to talk about, Winston. That's not that's not the right amount of points. You should have way more. Jonathan Taylor had 18.9 points. He was expected to get 24.6, but we will take 18.9. It's a very, very good amount. Gibson got 14.5. We expected 22. I'm not complaining though. 14.5 is pretty good. And then we have Chenault Jr. Who nobody had because he's a Jaguars receiver. I think he's a second or third stringer. DJ Chark got injured, so he was in the game. And again, he was projected to get us, he was the most, the highest projected to get 41.4 points. <clears throat> he ended up getting us 14 points, which I'm happy with. I'm okay with that. Then things get a little bit disappointing. Devontae Adams got 9.4, Hardman with 5.1. Kittle was six and Aaron Jones with nine. They were all projected to get double digit numbers. And again, those are bigger names. Kittle, Adams, Jones, those are like, they're big money. Hardman, not so much, but he only got five points and well, Tyreek Hill got 40 points, so. Which brings me to another thing. I was talking with, I was talking to the guys about this uh, and I think it's something I'm gonna add to this series. So obviously I'm gonna keep playing Madden and drop the fantasy lineup based off of the Madden simulation. But also in Fandle, where you go here, you can click leaders and it shows you all the leaders of this last week. So this Tyreek Hill scored the most points. Sam Darnold was second up. Pete Patrick Mahomes, Cordell Patterson. My idea is to take the top leaders from the previous week and then put them into the next week's lineup. So next week we would start Tyreek Hill, Sam Darnold, Cordell Patterson, Devo Samuel. And we could see if we can get money that way because you know Madden's not working out quite too well for us. But let me know what you guys think about that. I think I'm gonna try for week five at least. Carrying on though, we did have a really, really good pick. And that was a defense. The Bills got us 23 defensive points. Points. Our highest scoring player was the defense. That's unheard of. That probably won't ever happen again. So yeah, this week was pretty much smack dab right in the middle. We literally got literally right in the middle. Blows, because I thought this was a good week. But yeah, this is pretty much a one take video. Nothing much else to say though. I'm excited for week five though, because I do want to try that leaders thing. I want to see if we can maybe win that way. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen once this season, at least. So I'm gonna try to get this British fixed because it's really bothering me. Then I'm gonna record the video, post it before the Thursday game. And I'm telling you, this week. Gambling is the way to get your money. Money is root all evil, but if you want a lot of it, then gamble it on Fandle. Well, actually, we might get it. We, we might be switching to another uh, a different app if we get sponsored, so stay tuned. Subscribe, because I love you. Mwah. Oh, you smell delicious.